Hello, I'm David Sanchez, and I'm the CEO of Emite. Um, we're here today to uh, make an exciting um, novel measurements for LTE FDD carrier aggregation with two downlink components carriers and uh, MIMO and uh, realistic urban macro fading. For that, we have uh, Rodensvars CMW500 eNode-B that is prepared for carrier aggregation in LTE and that is connected to, for both primary and secondary carriers, to a Nanite FS8 channel emulator, which will run the UMA fading, and that will be injected into an Emite E500 uh, reverberation chamber to make those tests. Um, you can see here in the chamber um, that the um, chamber is empty. Uh, you can see the steers and, and the turntable. Um, so that uh, we're going to run the measurements in a very easy and simple way. Everything is commanded by um, a software from Emite. Uh, we also have the screen for the channel emulator. So we simply um, import a, a file to be run and in a very few steps we'll have everything ready to run the, um, the test. We're going to test throughput 64 QAM the network is now being configured in the E node B. Um, so we're going to test 64 QAM for MIMO and um, bands 4 and 17 uh, and UMA fading. So while the software configures automatically everything for the entire test platform, um, we can see on the screen of the uh, CNW500 that all the settings are being prepared for both the primary and the secondary. The software will tell us the reminders, the connections, and uh, we're just ready to attach the, uh, the smartphone that I have here with me. So I simply, um, if we look, um, I simply put it inside. Of the chamber, close the door. And we can see here, and the device is attached to the test network. So when that's done for both the primary and secondary, we can actually check here. And it's indeed attaching both carrier components, we just press run on the software. And after a warming up period, that which we which we can control, the um, um, software will start the measurement. Um, actually, the UMA is being run on the channel emulator. You can actually see that. Uh, And measurement will start in three, two, one, go. Now the um, monitoring of the progress of the measurements can be done in display mode or um, text mode. And here you can see, for example, first sample, what would be the maximum throughput for both the primary and the secondary and that would be uh, around 70 megabits per second in the combined one. And you can see here in two different colors, the first uh, partial measurement on the reverb plus channel emulator. And you can see that the secondary um, component it has a worse sensitivity on the first one, that's about 17. And the throughput will provide you with the average value as it collects the samples from the chamber. Um, so you can actually see on the screen that the red part uh, that progresses is the, um, uh, the, the measurement currently being taken. Uh, and when one partial measurement is finished, it's combined to the uh, ones that are already been made. And uh, averaging the results will uh, be done continuously so as to provide the um, uh, final results. So, that is also uh, possible to be monitoring in text mode here and you will have a hint of 
the percentage that has been completed for the test. This will not take long. Uh, simultaneously, you can see that the um, uh, emulation of the UMA fading is being performed on the channel emulator thanks to the output LEDs, but also by looking into the screen um, and seeing that the emulation is being performed here and that actually the CIR for both components are being run. So that here at, at any time you can actually see the properties of the test in which you will see how the components are configured for all the parameters. Everything is fully automated uh, by the software and also you can set your own criteria for pass and fail in case you want to test against the test plan. and progress the measurements. the final curve, throughput curve for the combined cardiac aggregation plasma and well, plus UMA and in this other curve that's span 4 and that's span 17 so basically you will see here the different throughput levels the sensitivity in terms of uh, RS PRE power uh, of different bands and also of the combined so basically you can also use these curves for obtaining the MIMO throughput sensitivity or MTS for the cardiac aggregation measurement. And this is it, measurement has been finished. And this is about 10 minutes. We can now save to a text file. and also pre and plot. So, thank you very much, this is it, very easy. First time that uh, we have performed an LTFDD cardiac aggregation plus MIMO plus UMA fading. Thank you very much.